Hey guys, thank you and gals, thank you for um, listening again. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about a little about riffing. I put the charts out, everything, so we can take a look and talk about it. See what's going on about the quarter and, and, and digest what happened today. Basically, today there was a uh, we already know Riffin posted their earnings and it was awesome. It was off, uh, be, they beat on top and bottom. So let's go through them, the numbers revenue increased 14 year to year, 860 million in 2020, gross profit 232 million dollars, and increased 61 from 141 2019, 61%. Real estate gross profit was 239, increase of 56%. Real estate was a gross margin of 36% compared to 29%. So they increased their margins. Operating expense uh, were 231, an increase of 4%. That's the thing on expenses. But since you're growing, that's normal. I think that's 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 okay. It's 4%, 4 or 3% is okay. Operating, op, op, operating expenses were 26 of revenue down from 29%. Net loss was 18.5 compared to net loss of 80 in 2014. And basically, let's go let's go look at the highlights of what's going on. Basically, re, uh, reach market share of 1.04 of U.S. existing homes value of the fourth quarter, an increase of 0.10% points from fourth quarter 2019. So the value of the houses have increased. Homeowner has saved over $54 million and uh and in the fourth quarter and 80, 185 million in 2020 using ref includes saving refin offers from refin refin refunds refin list, listings commission typical other tradition agents the refin mobile apps were a record reach of 44 million average monthly users on the fourth quarter meaning that there was increase of people actually downloading refin that's good the continuous special refin now by launching in sacramento san francisco seattle for in the fourth quarter the i buying uh, conducting 21 video tours in the fourth quarter. That's great. Using um, uh, Gallo. Refin has uh, seen a 136-fold increase on monthly requests for video tours and 7 and a full increase in monthly views of 3D walks to Refin. Basically, people want to use 3D. And have, I'm not sure if you've seen them. It's very legit. 3D is like... Some people, it depends on what type of buyer. But I think now with COVID and everything, if you like the house, the area, now there's so many, so many things that you can look from. From the computer um if you're more of a tech savvy person you, you make it you of buying a, a property but since it's a big it's a big purchase for any any buyer so they will rather buy it but if the numbers speak for itself people rather look at it online also that's one of the competitive advantages upgraded software for customers agents partners and home services for your teams, including um adding flores data Pages to get customer more information about individual properties and their risk factors. Um, they all, and now the most important, the outlook for 2021, the first quarter. The total revenue between 249 to 255 million. That would be 30 percent, even 34 percent from 2020. So they're actually thinking, oh, they're going to have increases of the revenue. They in the fourth quarter, they they did a one. Uh, just took a look. It did over a year 244. Now they're saying that they're gonna get 245, 249 to 255, and that be that that means a 30 percent, 34 percent compared to the first quarter of 2020. Now their revenue on the on the property sale will be say 77 to 80 million dollars guidance. The net loss to be of 34, 36 million compared to net loss in the first quarter. The guidance approximately a 13 million expected stock based comp compensation of 4.5 million depreciation amortization and expense and 1.2 expenses interest paid on the convertible notes meaning all the notes that they're paying so in other words um as we look it's very 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 strong they're um they're basically their their earnings we see that they've been growing they're profitable uh, that compared this this to the last year they have good um earnings and they have an increase of revenue in the house market. The only thing that you could that you could really say about about this is about really is is about the um is the interest increasing at three point one two already the thirty year mortgage. So that's the only thing. But still, like J M Paul, Mr. Powell, the Fed uh, chairman, um, also talked about that 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 may go away. So I don't really see that. Going down the line, or really, 
or really affecting anything towards it on the ref end. And this is my analysis and this is for entertainment purposes. This is my opinion and what I'm doing with this stock. And I, now let's jump into the technicality. As we see here, over basically over the whole month, we can see that at the end of the day, right now we're hitting at $85. Um, there's not a lot of volume right now. Probably like 90,000 shares have been have been traded in the after hours or since since they got traded. So a lot of people are still digesting the um, the news and seeing what's going to be and not going to be. So at the end of the day, they're going to make it to buy and sell. But as it is at what they're asking and what they're profiting being is it's very is very promising and they're hitting the numbers and their EPS. At this moment, technically, it, the lowest has been at $84, 25 cents, a standard, and an average volume of 1.1 million. So an average, a simple moving average of nine period is $8.88. So we're getting there, we're at $85. So we're crossing the $81, the top of 96 and the maximum of 110. And as we see here, this is this is a type of charts that tells us for me as technical indicators that has been stock has been under so oversold overbought we can see it was overbought on this on this at uh, the ninety eight dollars and it came down and then it came up so at this point we're we're, we're in the technical lives of technical we we're our oversold uh, indicators right here right here as we see probably can hit a little bit lower but if that happens we're gonna have a strong pullback and go up. Meaning that same thing here. So it was a strong sell on this point and right here. Once we hit here at this point with this cross, it took off. Boom. So then the same here. So this is, is acting very, you know, oversold, meaning that it should be a bot at this, at this price point and technical um, purposes. And, and, then, and it's going to be jump because of the news and because of the stock. And Redfin overall as a company is great, has great um, software, great a uh, way of, of brokerage to get your home sold the most fast and convenient way. I heard I was in the call. I heard the, the questions that they were asking and I see that they have very potential of being 130 to even $200 stock over time. If they execute, the only thing that I can see as a downplay here is the interest rates. But as we see, the um, the Fed is, is holding their ground. They're going to continue printing money. And until we see good inflation rates and good, like, sustainable like, inflation and, and interest rate increasing, then that's when this is going to take a hit. But I don't see that time any soon. I think it's going to happen probably like a year. And this is my opinion, right? Year, you know, like a year, year and a half, like 2022, like in... in in the middle of the year. So at the end of the day, we could see that this has the plenty of room of moving uptrend. I think it's gonna to go to hundred dollars. This this is this stock is worth a hundred dollars are based off its fundamentals and and based off its revenues and income that and projection that giving because they're giving very strong outlook for the future. So I think that this stock is it's a hold and a buy at this time. Tomorrow we'll see how it goes. I'll make another video of it. I, I, I do own this stock. I do. I, I, I own 2,000 shares of it. I'm still holding. And at the end of the day, I'll, I'll continue to hold until I see indicators that are very, very bearish. Or in this case, economic wise, or even the stock or the company. But at this point, I don't see anything of that happening. So there's no reason to panic or sell. Like in this case, like on thing on Monday, it was hit like $81 right here. We can see the oversold. And what happened? It popped back by, right back up. So in the same team here. So that's what I, I see with this time moving forward. Um, if you do have any questions, you can feel free. Um, hit my Twitter page, AceJLA, or dislike or like the page. And, and hopefully you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.